Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bishop Ernest Wambongo. Ernest Wambongo. Kutoka nebu, nebu Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bishop Johnson Sakwa Matungu. Askofi Johnson Sakwa inyo na Matungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Buwana sifiwe. Bishop Jonathan Itane, Matete Region. Askofi Jonathan Itane, inyo na Matete. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Bishop David talk from Potenam Kericho. As good as David talk, talk about the Potenam Kule Kericho. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Bishop Joshua, as good as Joshua, Malaba region. Eneo la Malaba. Bwana Yesu asibiwe. Amen. Ni misi tayenda mbio hivo asibu wakati menda. Nibi ni as good as Levi, Jackson Gutia, agilelewa, ikonomani itangu wakua mdodo mdoko, Akakuwa youth leader, senior pastor, obasia, bishop. Kwa niyanda ya tege yangu, mwuke wa skobu, pamoja na watu ikonumani, wamesema, poleni sana, kumpodesa mama. Mimi pinafu, ajua mama mizuri, mekua likige kwa inye kuma, kuna omba pamoja, kuna kuna pamoja. Mungu wa baliki sana. Bana Yesu wa sitiwe. Hallelujah. Na hivyo Bishop Stephen Luamba na Dr. Busia. Specifically Ogalo, Main Altar, Good Place Region. Lakini hapa, abadu wemu laamba. Kuringo. Leo nyazai wele mwita. Kuleji ni ya Jehova. Kuotoke. Kuchie mwiko ya Yesu. Amatoka uwe. Kuotoke jina. Karibuni sana. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Askofu Makajuma maeneo na makodo. Abanyole bwanje. Yesu yete na kumbukuri. Haleluya. Haleluya. Naitwa Askofu Odri Watenge. Maeneo ya West Kenya Kabaras Koleni na Bwana watie ngumu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kutoka ni kujani karibu Moise Bridge kule Tumefata ndugu yetu Charles Saskofu Tunampenda nesuko tumekuja
nafasi hii tupasa over the microphone kutikisha kipaza sauti msimie deputy archbishop mama janet kwa naibu askofu mkuu mkuu mama janet kwamba atakaribisha wageni wetu na hatimaye kuleta mneneji wa neno bwana wabariki sana Ningependa so kumshukuru Bwana sana. And I want to thank his Holy Spirit. Ningependa kushukuru roho wake mtakatifu. For allowing us to be here today. Kwa kuturuhusu kuwa hapa leo. I want to say praise the Lord. Ningependa kusema Bwana asifiwe. Kwa kweli, Africa has worked. Africa has Niwaacha mtembea. majina naitwa DPP Archbishop Manfred Kobe Tafsiri bwana kwa majina naitwa naibu askofu Kobe No bwana mlue Haleluya Haleluya Nimetoka Nyamira County Rule le Nyamira County bwana asifiwe mwamie tuombe bwana Nimekuja na ofisia wengine msimame tu ofisia Dr. Aisa Dijirendo ofisia bandi ofisia machuka Obasia Machuka, Pastor Robert Wakili, najua wako mahali. Bwana Yesu apee sifa. Mwapi Yesu acho mibwe. Imeandikwa kambi kwangu kwa kitabu cha Ecclesiasticus, mstari wa Ecclesia moja, mji wa 11, mstari wa 3, umri wa Oriano hataru. Sitasoma kwa sababu mimi sio mhubiri hapa. Sijao soma sasa si ndo mkambi hano tano. Lakini nataka niongee kwa ubeti ya pili, lakini nyanomo kunyaliwa kabili. Ambaye inasema, ulipo rambu, mti ukianguka, wa msala ni kukwa, unabaki papo hapo na kushikareta hala. Bwana azifiwe. Mwami Yesu mibwe. Watu wa
Umeenda kwa mshangala yuko ni manabii wa koo wa Jehova na wabunge kila yule Jehova nasikia wengine wanasema akiao waliomba kwani uliomba nini Mulaba ni kama hata kufesi kwa Saida Nimeokoka. Kwanza kabla sijaongea nataka niseme Paul kwa jamii. Kabla niongee ningependa kusema Paul kwa jamii. Paul sana. Investment of Christ in this family. Ninge nimeona uwekezaji wa Kristo Yesu katika jamii hii. I saw the father, I think the father of Fanis was a pastor. Niliona baba wa Fanis alikuwa mchungaji. Na niliposoma ratiba hii leo, sister to pastor James, pastor who Ninaona dada mchungaji James mchungaji fulani and all the way to pastor Dr. Temi. Na kote kote kwa mchungaji daktari Temi. The, the in-laws are overseers like the uh, overseer Dr. Uh, uh, Odiek. Wale wapo na waangalizi kama yule daktari Odiek. And the son of this home is a bishop. Na mwana wa jamii wa familia hii ni askofu. The reason I'm saying that sababu ninasema hivyo I so many bishops were introduced. Niliona maskofu wengi walitambulishwa hapa and senior deputy bishops are here. Na manaibu wa askofu wa mkuu mkuu wako hapa. When you see senior clergy coming for a funeral, ukiona wakuhani wa ngazi za juu wanapokuja kwenye matanga, it is a message to this village. Ni ujumbe kwa kijiji hiki. The this village, kama kijiji hiki Do you recognize that the Lord has visited you? Lina je mnatambua kwamba Bwana amewatembelea? Because the bishop is saying I'm from this place I'm from this place. Kwa sababu maaskofu mmoja anasema natoka eneo hili natoka eneo hili. This means hii inamaanisha that today it's time to change in the way you walk with Christ. Kwamba siku ya leo ni siku ya kubadilisha njia yako ya kutembea na Kristo. Since I was born, tangu nilipozaliwa, it's my first time to be this. Mara yangu ya kwanza kuwa hapa. I never knew that such a place exists in life. Siku ajua kwamba wakati kama mali kama hapa iko katika maisha hii. And I was coming that's when I realized Kenya is big. Nilipokuwa ninakuja ndio nikagundua kwamba Kenya ni kubwa kweli. But what has brought us here? Lakini kile kilichotuleta hapa is to say pole. Ni kusema pole. Mama has rested. Mama amepumzika. But what about you? Na je kuhusu wewe? How do you prepare when you rest? Je, unaandaa unajiandaa vipi utakapopumzika? People rest in different ways. Yesterday or the other day I was from a funeral. A young man in my village in the church got an accident of boda boda watu pumzika kwa njia mbalimbali juu juu nimetoka kwa matanga kijana katika kanisa langu alipumzika kwa sababu ya ajali ya boda boda mama has rested because of sickness mama naye amepumzika kwa sababu ya ugonjwa people rest in different way watu wanapumzika kwa njia mbalimbali when god calls you wakati mungu anapokuita when man of god sends when, when the lord sends the mighty is mighty is prophet of the lord to this land wakati bwana alipowatuma manabii manabii wakuwa kuwa bwana mali hapa the celebrations of the people's are walk mnaona sherehe ya kwamba kiwete ametembea you see celebration the blind see mnaona si watu wanasherekea kwamba kipofu ameona the message underlying there mujumbe uliomo mule ndani is that when you rest like mama fanis ni ya kwamba unapopumzika kama mama fanis which side will you go je utaenda upande gani what will you tell jesus je utaambia yesu nini Will you rest when you are in alcohol? Je, utapumzika ukiwa katika ulevi wa pombe? Will you rest when you are not walking right? Je, utalala kama utembei sawa na Mungu? We go to church. Tunaenda kanisani to seek the face of Jesus. Kutafuta uso wa Yesu. But the times of the times of change. Lakini majira yamebadilika. Christians still go to church. Wa Kristo bado wanaenda kanisani. But they drink when they go to church. Lakini wanakunywa pombe wanapoenda kanisani. Christians still go to church. Wa Kristo bado wanaenda kanisani. But they are still immoral when they go to church. Lakini bado ni washerati wanapoenda kanisani. When you tell them come and see if we are still drinking tafadhali tuachane na pombe. Ikiwa bado tunakunywa pombe tafadhali tuachane na pombe. This village. Hiki kijiji. If you are still in uchawi, kama bado uko kwa uchawi tafadhali waachana na uchawi. Tafadhali waachana na uchawi. If you are still going to the pubs, 
Kama bado unaenda kwa mpangoni, just come to the ministry. Njo tu katika huduma, come to the church. Njo katika kanisa, that way you will be prepared. Pale ambapo utaandaliwa, the bishops are here. Maaskofu wako hapa. Our churches are all over. Makanisa yetu yako kote kote. And when you look at their lives, unapoangalia maisha yao, you see that the Lord has done something in their life. Unaona kwamba Bwana ametenda jambo katika maisha yao, including my life. Kuhusisha maisha yangu. So please this village the news we have brought you is the news of Jesus you can tell Jesus I come Lord Jesus I come if I ask many of you how many want to go to heaven let me see your hands how many want to go to heaven? Ni wangapi wanaotaka kwenda mbinguni? Haya, everybody wants to go to. Haya, kila mmoja anataka kwenda mbinguni. How many want to go to hell? Ni wangapi wanaotaka kwenda jehanamu? Kumbe mtaki kwenda hell? Kumbe mtaki kwenda jehanamu? Let me ask another question. Wacha niulize swali jingine. How many are walking right? Ni wangapi wanaotembea kwa haki? Kumbe kwenda mbinguni ni kazi. Kumbe kwenda mbinguni ni kazi. May God bless you. Wacha Bwana wabariki. I was going to preach let us prepare we go to heaven so that you may see the goodness of God you see Paul of the senior archbishop the senior bishop this is John Litunda I spoke to him twice in the morning Paul in the Sunday to the family I also want to Pass Paul from the church of Kericho. Dr. Mutai. Dr. Mutai. And the county government. Na serikali ya county. They have sent their Paul. Wametuma Paul yao. Paul ni sana. Paul ni sana. They could have been here. Wangekuwa hapa. But because of many issues, assignments. Lakini kwa sababu mara majukumu mengi. They sent me to pass their Paul. Wali ni tuma ni petition Paul yao. May God bless you. Wacha Bwana wabariki. We will come back to this village. Tutarudi katika kijiji hiki. To celebrate the goodness of God. Kusherekea but when we come back, let us make sure that everybody is born again. Thank you. Asante. Welcome, Senior Deputy Archbishop. Thank you for giving me time. Asante kwa kunipa muda. Don't let me start again. Also, David is in Akdishon. Yeye pia naibu wa askofu mkongo in charge of Bihiga. Anaisimamia eneo la Bihiga. I say something before you sit. Wacha aseme jambo kabla keti. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, but you are a poor man. 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 You are a Kufa kwa mama Panis. Tikira mrombo yenye wajasai. Nimekuja kwa sababu ya mapenzi ya Mungu. Sababu Mungu anatafuta mwana kila mmoja. Inyanda ya lele. Siku ya leo. Mungu wewe mlamba. Mtu wewe mlamba. Nyenyewe mbanye. Nataka ujue. Yesu yetanga. Yesu anakuja. Nenye huru ni fundi. Nataka utoke ndani ya dhambi. Oh, 
Musumba wa Nyasae, Musumba dire ngeko, muri tekeri ngoje, mwihala ngabe, ndeje ngabe muri meso. Tunaweza kusimama kwa jina la Yesu. Heshima. Heshima. So let us appreciate Jesus because of the peace. Misumari inchi inda yate ilikuwe menunuliwa kwa kutengeneza mishale. Mipini zilikuwa zimeunuliwa na zimetunguliwa misumari. Ile moja ikugonga wewe kwenda. Mipini ilikuwe metengeneza na kununguliwa misumari ilikuwa kukugonga moja unakuwa meenda. So we are I want to say Paul to the family. I know death is very painful. And more so uh, when it happens to the mom. Because we know a mother is always a unifying factor in the family. But I want to encourage in the name of Jesus. But even if she has gone, the Lord Jesus has not gone. 
and only Jesus and Yesu yake can be there for you at all times. Anaweza kuwa pale kwako muda wote. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm reading the book of Revelation chapter number 19. Ninasoma kitabu cha ufunuo wa Yohana sura ya 19. And I'm reading 11 to 15. Na ninasoma 11 hadi 15. And I'm reading the NIV study Bible. Na tena ninasoma katika kitabu cha tafsiri ya NIV ile ya masomo. Revelation chapter number 19, number 20. Ufunuo wa Yohana mlango wa 20. Verses 11 to 15. Kuanzia mstari wa 11 hadi 15. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. Then I saw a great white throne. And him who was seated on it. Kisha nikaona kiti kikubwa cheupe cha enzi pamoja na yeye aliyeketi juu yake. And the sky fell from his presence. Na dunia na mbingu zikakimbia juu uso wake. And there was no place for them. Na hapakuwa na mali pao pa kuonekana. And I saw the dead great and small. Nami nikaona watu wakubwa na wadogo standing before wakiwa wamesimama mbele ya hicho kiti na vitabu vikafunguliwa another book was opened ya kitabu kingine kikafunguliwa which is the book of life ambacho ni kitabu cha uzima the dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in the books hao watu wakahukumiwa sawa sawa na matendo yao kama yalivyoandikwa ndani ya kitabu hicho the sick gave up the dead that were in it bahari ikawatoa watu waliokuwamo ndani yake and death and hell gave up the dead Now mauti na kuzimu zikawatoa wafu aliokuwamo ndani yake. And each person was judged according to what he had done, what uh, according to what he had done. Kila mtu akahukumiwa kulingana na yale aliyotenda. Then death and hell were thrown into the lake of fire. Kisha mauti na kuzimu zikatupwa katika ziwa la moto. The lake of fire is the second death. Hii ndio mauti ya pili yani hilo ziwa la moto. If anyone's name was not found written in the book of life. Wapo mtu jina lake alikuonekana katika with all protocol served ilikiwa itipaki yote imezingatiwa thank you so much for this opportunity asante ni sana kwa ajili ya fursa hii and thank you asante for coming to encourage the family kwa ajili ya kukuja kuhimiza jamii and many have stood here and said that jesus christ is coming wengi wamesimama hapa wakasema kwamba yesu kristo yuaja when jesus had finished his mission here on earth wakati yesu alipomaliza misheni yake hapa duniani he went on the cross alienda msalabani and called na akashinda kule msalabani. And the grave. Alienda kaburini. And conquered the grave. Na kanyakua kule kaburini. Na katika siku ya tatu. Baba says. Biblia inasema. Power from on high. Mungu kutoka juu. Come and strike the grave. Ili kuja na kuganga juu. Ili sarate jina. Aisha mfukua Yesu. And he came back to life. Na alirudi akafufuka. After defeating the enemy. Baada ya kushinda adui. And taking the kill from the dead. Na kuchukua fungu kutoka kwa mawazo ya shetani. He was taken up. Alichukuliwa kwenda juu. In the book of Acts chapter 1 verses 8. Alichukuliwa cha matendo ametuma moja mstari wa 18 kuendelea. We see him being taken up. Tunamuona akichukuliwa kwenda juu. In the full view of people. Watu wote wakiwa wanaona. And as they looked intently at him as he went. Au nipoangalia kwa makini juu alipokuwa kienda. The Lord has sent us. Biblia inasema. Suddenly two men appear. Watu wawili wakajitokeza ghafla. Yeah. 
kujipita Oh, no. 
nambo ile kanga ya mwigunia ni ile kanga ya ikoro hata ni lele waliokolewa kwa sababu ya gunia kwa ni lele oni wa sikira ile kanga ya mwigunia ni sawero mkambi fulani ni sawero kwesho ni roho mkambi fulani msangu ya nambo tuseme tusiseme
By seven I was in class. I taught them physics. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am a teacher. In charge of this plane. Uh, for those of you who have come, we are new abetere. You may not be knowing you are bishop in Rwanda. I am the bishop in Rwanda. In King's Outreach Church. Because of King's Outreach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you get us in Rwanda, singing on the road. Agrippo has walked. Agrippo has walked. Agrippo has walked. The sun has clapped. The blind has seen. Look for somebody like me. No head. You will see me ahead of them. No preaching the coming of the Messiah. As I finish, women, do you know that Jesus is coming? Uh, 
amaparo amaparo kanje bwangu kwa uraisi bwangu mno akipanda kwa pikipiki yeye ana kusipikipiki hata kama ni mama mzee bana ni mama msaguru na niangalie nyama ya mwili mama yangu kote nyama ya mpili kwe ninapata shida nyonyora ni nyama na hiyo ndio shida nilipata ni etapu ya nyonyora akiwa ana oska anaosha nyumbani na hapa na asha hapa bibingo ile kama aliwacha kuvaanga leso na hapa ni yale kufuefu ni galileso ninapata shida ni nyonyora nikienda kwa bank Mimi mbang alama meinama namna hii manyole ene mirembo na mimi niangalie na shule ngoza siku hiyo kama nimepata mshahara kama nimba ninyo mshahara kwanza ni nyumbani ngoza ninatafuta kama hiyo ni kama kushinga ene kama siwezi pata hiyo natafuta kama hiyo ni ronyo ronyo mwende una nikaba shingo mwende huyo ingine unaijua ni bingi mabi mani sababu umekuja nayo hapa hata leo kata sikio kitu na bia hano nondi kuno amen ni kwa nini nimemwamsha yeye ni mwanaume? Kwa sina mbuzi siyesikia yeye mtu msacha. Ndio awambie nyinyi wa mama. Kanyo kwa kwa nini wa mama? Is and worship. Ati ni praise and worship. Tusana tu tusana. Oh, mungu ni bora. No when God is saying go back to holiness. Na wakati Mungu anasema rudieni kwa utakatifu. He wants holiness. Anataka utakatifu. Women, wa mama. Let's go back to holy. Wacha turudie utakatifu. Our God is holy. Mungu wetu ni mtakatifu. Jesus is holy. Yesu ni mtakatifu. The Holy Spirit is holy. Roho mtakatifu ni mtakatifu. Let us stand. Wacha tuinuke. As I call my senior to come and lead us back to Jesus. Ninapomwalika Mkubwa wangu aweze kuwaongoza kumrudia Yesu. Kipaza sauti. Thank you. Asante. Watch your message. Ni ujumbe wa kiasi gani? Na mwenye namba sikio afanye nini? Asikie. Tuweke mkono wetu. Nakupatia dakika moja utumu mahali huko. Mwambie tu Jehova kusamehe. Umesikia neno la Bwana? Pingine. Wewe unajijua, unajua dhambi niliyometenda kwa macho, kwa fikira, kwa kuongea. Kwa dakika moja, Mwambie Jehova. Amen, Mwambie Jehova. Mwambie Jehova, hautaini mbele zako. Ana ibi ani na kuhitaji Yesu. Tafadhali nisamehe. Na unikumbuke kwa siku ya unyokozi. Na unikumbuke kwa siku ya unyokozi. That message is very powerful. Ujumbe huo ni mwongovu sana. Tafadhali. Tafadhali. Sitaki niongeze. Sitaki niongeze. All of us are of age. Sisi sote tumekoma. And I believe you have heard the word. Na ninaamini umesikia neno. And I don't want to repeat what you have heard. Na sitaki kurudia kile ambacho umesikia. But I want to say. Lakini nataka kusema. Watch your heart. Kila ambacho umesikia. Now walk in the way of God. Sasa tembea katika njia za Bwana. After receiving Jesus don't go back to the vomit. Baada ya kumpokea Bwana usirudi katika matapishi. Tuseme yes. Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu. Tuseme na sauti. Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu. Mimi ni mwenye dhambi. Mimi ni mwenye dhambi. Siku ya leo. Siku ya leo. Ninatubu dhambi zangu zote. Ninatubu dhambi zangu zote. Ninaamua siku ya leo. Ninaamua siku ya leo. Kuachana na dhambi. Kuachana na dhambi. Yesu nisamehe. Yesu nisamehe. Unitakaze. Unitakaze. Unioshe na damu ya Yesu. Unioshe na damu ya Yesu. Unikumbuke Unikumbuke mimi na jamii yangu mimi na jamii yangu kwa siku ya unyakuzi kwa siku ya unyakuzi sasa ninaokoka sasa ninaokoka katika jina kuu la Yesu katika jina kuu la Yesu nimeamua kubadilika nimeamua kubadilika unisafishe unisafishe katika jina kuu la Yesu katika jina kuu la Yesu ninatubu dhambi zangu zote nimetubu dhambi zangu zote yenye nimetenda yenye nimetenda yenye nimefikiria yenye nimefikiria yenye nimeona yenye nimeona sasa ninatubu sasa ninatubu katika jina kuu la Yesu katika jina kuu la Yesu ninaomba na kuamini ninaomba na kuamini amen amen let us pray
ngombe Father in the mighty name of Jesus Baba katika jina kula Yesu You are the holy God of Israel Wewe ni Mungu mtakatifu wa Israeli We have heard your word my father Tumesikia neno lako baba yangu We have repented my father Tumetubu baba yangu I ask you now Jehovah Nakuuliza sasa Jehovah That every person my father was confessed to me Ya kwamba kila mtu ambaye uko hapa leo We ask you for the spirit to walk with that person Tunakuuliza Roho Mtakatifu tembe na huyo mtu Speaking the word in the book of Isaiah 35. The day they walk in the highway of holiness. So today is a new beginning. Do you remember them today? Then as we put mama to rest. Let it be also a new beginning in their life. Do you wash them? with the blood of Jesus and write their name in the book of life in the mighty name of Jesus I pray and believe Amen, Amen. the Lord bless you